everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a dell inspiron 5000 series laptop the exact model is a 5502 or 5509 they both are the same the tag number for this one is a c2n7763 and in this video i'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove this storage or upgrade or add an additional storage and what are the combinations that you can have in here if you don't want to touch your uh, storage that you already have in here, which has Windows and everything like that, or you just want to expand it and add another storage, you can that, do that too. So I'm going to cover that in this video. If you want to remove your main storage, just remember you have to reinstall the Windows freshly installed. I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. Also, I made another video how to properly install Windows on a Dell laptop. They're all the same, any Dell uh, installation. Check those links in the video description in case you don't know how to do Windows installation. Windows installation is really easy. You can do it under 10 minutes and you're set to go with Windows update. All right, so first thing first, you want to power off the laptop and back up your files. And you want to flip it upside down. And under in here, we're going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Again, the links are in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. From this tool set is an iFixit tool set, which are really great. We're going to be using a Philips double zero. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. All right, so down here, we're going to remove all the uh, screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. But we're not going to touch these two screws on the corner, one on each corner on the back end of the laptop. And there's a reason, I'll explain that in a second. So remove the one in the back mid, the two on the sides, the four on the front row. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a, in a single pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, except the ones in the corner, and the reason is because these screws, they have something called a C-lock. A C-lock is a C-shaped in plastic or metal on the other side of the case that holds the screw that will prevent the screw coming out. And it serves a different purpose too, to help you to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this screw, you're going to see a gap opening right over here. Right there. And you're going to keep rotating until you feel like this screw is like a really loosened. That's what you want to do. You want to do that on both sides, on each corner. So do this one too. And you're going to see that gap opening. All right, once you see the gap opening, you want to grab the guitar pick and you want to stick it in between the case and just want to peel it down about one or two millimeters in. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. Just about two or one or two. And once you peel the front, the side, the front, it will come out. If it doesn't come out, keep doing it with a, with a guitar pick. Keep doing it until you get to the other corner. And simply pick it up, work it around, and it will release the bottom cover. And there we have it. And down here, we can see the whole inside of the motherboard, the big battery, the RAM, the Wi-Fi, and the tiny. SSD that they give you and I see right over here. There's another M.2 PCI Express right over here You can place a M2230, 2242 or 2280 which is a standard size will go right there in here You can do the same thing. You can put a short size or you can put a longer 2280 model which will go here These are the shortest SSDs are really not great because they degrade really fast just remember, if you want to remove the storage or anything like that, you don't need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid, they want to disconnect it, you can pull this jack backward and it will disconnect it from there. So, but you don't need to. All right. To remove this main storage, you want to remove one tiny screw at the back of it. These are Phillips number zero. So remove the tiny screw at the back end. I it's not. It is. Phillips number one. Remove that tiny screw in the back. And the SSD will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. 
Once you have the SST in 45 degree angle, all you want to do, you want to slide it backward like that. You don't want to yank it towards the ceiling. You want to just slide it out in 45 degree angle. So this one is an NVMe Eoxia Dry 500 gig. Now, let's say that you got a good brand will be 980 Pro from Samsung. You can put it up to two terabyte in here and up to two terabyte in here at the same time. So you have a four terabyte storage with no problem. And to put a, this one right in here, this one is empty, a two terabyte. I don't have a two terabyte lying around here, but I got a SATA version, which uh, NVMe will have one notch. Let's pretend that it's an NVMe. Before you put it in there, you want to remove this bracket from here. You want to slide it forward, bring it forward. This kind of riser type. So. You have to remove it, slide it forward, remove it, and bring it like this. Let me see if I put it like that. It won't match. No, nope. you want to rotate and you want to bring it on the back end and slide it right in there so it knocks in there. You want to grab the new SSD, you want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector, push it all the way in there, and then bring it down and make sure this screw hole matches right there. And then you want to put the screw that you removed before from here I don't know where I just right here on my screwdriver and you can put this one right over here just remember this one has to be have one notch because it's a PCI Express just like this one notch on it all right some laptops are compatible with M.2 SATA but if you have M.2 PCI Express take advantage and put a NVMe all right same thing in here in here they don't provide you with any screw so you want to put the NVMe in there, 45 degree, bring it down, and then you want to put the screw right in there. They haven't given you any screw right in here, that's kind of sad. And it's just a plastic, there's no screw hole in there. So you want to want to get a screw with a bigger threads and just push it right through there. So it's kind of weird that they didn't give you anything. Maybe it comes in a box, check the box. So yeah. So Grab your original one, bring it down in 45, or before we do that, you want to remove this riser again. And rotate, bring it down. Put it in there. And grab the short one. This short one, you can go in here too. There's a tiny screw hole, these are for all of models. You know, 45 degree angle, right in there. And put the screw right. Over just like that. And once you finish with that, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. You want to grab the bottom cover, you want to bring it over, you want to squeeze the corner, the side, the front, make sure you nicely squeeze all the way in. There's no more gaps, anything open. You don't want to squeeze the back corners. What you want to do, you want to just tighten up the screw, switch back again to double zero. And once you screw the corners in the back, it will pull the cover to itself. So pretty much as soon as I go screwing it down, it's going to pull. And if I see any more gap, I just help it down by pushing it down. And it will snap into place. And to finish it off, just put the rest of the screw in on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your storage for your Dell Inspiron 5000 series 5502. If you have any question or request, Feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.